Welcome to another episode of Caribbean Discoveries and we're still in the area of George Song and we're here at the next historical building. As you can see, it's the Umani Yana. It's a building built with no nails whatsoever. They use vines to, I think it's the Ruku vines? Mokuru. Mokuru vines to tie all the palms together. Truly palms, I think is the name of the palm they use to build the building. It's about 47 feet high as you can see. And the original building that was built in 1972 was built by the YY Indians. I don't know what kind of name is YY, but that is the name of the Indians that built it. That was a tribe. Oh, well, actually, it was a tribe here in Guyana. But the original structure was burned down in 2014 and was rebuilt a year after to this new structure you see here now. So, as you can see, we'll take a walk in the building so you can see the building from the inside. So as you can see, it's a big space, used for function, government meetings, different seminars. So anytime you have a function and you need a space, you could always make a call, see if it's available and you could take full advantage of all its beauty. Right now we're going to check out a little monument on the outside and see what it's all about. Let's go. So right now we're here at the Liberation or Liberty? Liberation. Liberation Monument. And here to tell us a little bit about it is my fellow brother here. Alright, and we're look, what you're looking at here, these five forces that you're seeing here, it's, there is the semblance showing the masters who would have fought, our black brothers, African brothers who would have fought and died here in this struggle. And so we have decided to place this, the YY tribe would have decided to place this as the monument to show that these were our persons, our races that had fought for our freedom within this state. And it would have been here since in the 26th of August, 1974. That is when we had the big fighting of everything. So, so why five columns though? Well, the five columns, as I would say, it would have represented the five different tribes. Oh, okay, okay. The okay, five okay. different tribes that they all came under one common name, Africa. But it's five different tribes. Well, that's not nice to know. So there you have it. The Umana Mana? Umana Yano. Umana Yana. So until next time, my next episode, Kaiben Discoveries. Peace out.